Hello and welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. 2013 has a couple of days left and this will probably be the last two, This, That, and the Other show for, for this year. Hopefully I'll have plenty of them for the year 2014 and I've done over 70 episodes so far. This is also a day that spells an end to the NFL regular season. Uh, playoffs start next week and I thought, you know, with it being the last week of the football se regular football season, I thought I would do a tribute to a USFL team that existed, the Philadelphia slash Baltimore Stars in the three-year-old USFL league existed from 1983 to 1985. And one of the teams was the, the Stars. I went, I went to a few games when they relocated to Baltimore, played in College Park, and this is a program of the of one of the games I went to. As you can see, the program was two dollars back then. I, I don't know what they charge for an NFL program, but I'm sure it's probably closer to ten dollars now. But this is the this is actually the team that the Stars met in the in the last uh, game played in the USFL, the Oakland Invaders. It, they played each other in, in the USFL Championship in 19. 85 and here is um, the owner of the stars and um, thumbing through the program right now to, to find this thing this picture and here we go miles tannenbaum owned the stars all through the three years that they were in the league he was a realist real estate man and they're General manager was Carl Peterson, who later on was the GM for the Kansas City Chiefs. This is a logo for the Stars. And they were coached all three years by Jim Mora, who later on, after after the downfall of the USFL, coached the New Orleans Saints. He got he was the first coach to successfully get the Saints into the playoffs, but was never able to win a Super Bowl with them, like he won two championships in the USFL, the, the equivalency of, of the NFL's Super Bowl. A little history on the, on the Stars. The Philadelphia Baltimore Stars played in the United States Football League in the mid-1980s. They were owned by real estate magnet Miles Tannenbaum, and they were the league's most dominant team. 1983 season, they, they played in, in Veterans Stadium and compiled a 15 and 3 record. Their 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 1983 squad was known as the, the Doghouse Defense, which only allowed 204 points in 18 in 18 game season. Their star players were quarterback Chuck Fusina from Penn State, wide receiver Scott Fitzke, rookie running back Calvin Bryant, and safety. Scott Warner. They also featured the rookie punter Sean Landetta. That year they they went 15 and 3 and were in the USFL championship taking on the Jim Stanley's Michigan Panthers. They they lost the game 24 to 22. 1984 they were were in Philadelphia as well and they played in veteran stadium until the, the playoffs and there was a conflict with the Phillies game so they had to play the rest of their games at Franklin Field where I believe University of Pennsylvania plays their, plays their games if I'm not mistaken. They actually did play a, an exhibition game at, at, against Tampa Bay at Wembley Stadium on July 21st 1984 but they um, they compiled a 16-2 and record that year and they beat George Allen's Arizona Wranglers 23-3 for the league title. 1985 season, uh, Miles Tannenbaum decided to relocate the team to Baltimore. They, he, he didn't feel that he could compete with the Philadelphia Eagles for fans, so Baltimore at the time had, had lost the Colts, so they didn't have a football team. He unfortunately was unable to lease Baltimore's Memorial Stadium as a condition of the settlement between the city and the Colts. After the Colts moved to Indianapolis, no pro football team could play at Memorial Stadium until 1986. He was forced to, to play at University of Maryland's Bird Stadium in College Park, 40 miles south of Baltimore, in fact closer to Washington 
they continued to practice in Philadelphia and most of their operations were still were still going on there. Baltimoreans were not willing to make the 55 minute drive to College Park to, to see a game, to see their team play, while fans on the Maryland side of the Washington area were not willing to support a lame duck team. ABC was embarrassed at the dreadful games from Baltimore and Denver and told their commissioner Harry Usher it did not want the embarrassment of airing playoff games near empty stadiums. However, the Stars managed to upend the favored generals and stallions in successive weeks to reach the title. Once they were there, the Stars beat Bobby Abair led Oakland Vaders 28 to 24, and after that was the last game played in in, in the USFL. They they uh, they had an antitrust suit against the NFL, and the USFL actually won that the suit, but. They were only awarded a dollar, which were tripled to three dollars. And well, the day after after that settlement, the USFL suspended operations and never never returned. So I thought I'd give you a little history on on another USFL team. And here's another close up of, of what their what their logo lo logo looked like. It was uh, the team colors were crimson, old gold, and white. And a little little information on the. Philadelphia slash Baltimore Stars. I want to wish everybody a happy new year and thanks for watching.